the great American eclipse that's happening next month. And while there are a lot of events happening in the tri-state, you might have to travel to other parts of the country to view it very well. So meteorologist Ashley Smith, she went to Indianapolis to show us how the racing capital of the world is going to turn into a hub of entertainment eclipse weekend. Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, this is home of the greatest spectacle in racing. But on April 8th, you're going to need your spectacles because here on the path of totality is where you can enjoy the eclipse for more than three minutes. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway can seat more than 250,000 people around the two and a half mile track as they watch the cars speed past at 200 plus miles per hour. On April 8th, during the total solar eclipse, the stands won't be that packed and all eyes will be on the sky. There's a lot of similarities there. Some of the materials that are used are, are similar. The engineering side of it is really similar. So there's a lot of synergies between the two. And frankly, a lot of things that are implemented in IndyCar racing today kind of started uh, through space program. Doug Bowles with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway says several years ago they had the idea to hold an event during the eclipse because Indianapolis is in the path of totality. It was. I remember the eclipse as a kid and just don't look at it, but nobody really explained to me what it was. So working with NASA and Purdue, it's a great way to educate people about what's happening. And for us, it's also a great way to bring people who've never been to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway before to the Speedway. Not only is this going to be a great place to view the eclipse, but they will have plenty of entertainment, seminars, demonstrations, and more, thanks to help from Purdue and NASA. It's such a, just an amazing experience. And thinking about the geometry and the, the, you know, the planets, and, and that all gets me super excited. Allie Bramson is a planetary scientist and an assistant professor at Purdue University. Indianapolis is a much closer drive than what she did during the last total solar eclipse in 2017. She drove from Arizona to Missouri to be in the path of totality. Each total solar eclipse can only be viewed by less than 1% of the surface of the Earth. So that makes this one really exciting because it happens to go over a swath of the United States where a lot of populated areas can see it. If you are interested in attending the event, tickets are $20 for adults and children are free. Bowles says there will be plenty to do Sunday and Monday to keep the entire family entertained. So it's a great opportunity to visit the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, see what we're all about, it's a little, little bit less of a crowd, and get access that you might not get on a normal race weekend. And you're outside and you have a great opportunity to see the eclipse and learn from a lot of astronauts and others from NASA. We will have a link to purchase tickets and learn more about the event at fox19.com. In Indianapolis and West Lafayette, meteorologist Ashley Smith, Fox 19 Now.